James. What? I think you better get over here, take a look at this. What is it, Carl? Just take a look. What the hell is this, Carl? It's a dead human being, James. Yeah? Well, what's he doing on our route? Here. Looks like somebody threw away a perfectly good white boy. And he sure looks a hell of a lot like that, dude. We're screwed. What do you mean, we? You pulled the trigger, pal. Look, Lewis, we gotta talk. See, Lewis? Carl sort of knows this guy. So? I don't know him at all. Well, he, what I'm trying to say is he, is, is he shot him with a pellet gun. But he thought he hit him in the butt. I did hit him in the butt. You two seem to be in some serious shit here. I need a drink. Look, Lewis, I know that I did not kill this man. You see, last night, this guy here was beating on his old lady. So I took it upon myself to end the dispute. So you shot him? With a pellet gun. So you said? Now, you shot him from where? From my apartment. So how in the hell did he end up here? Well, why don't you ask him? Have some. It'll settle your nerves. My, my, my nerves don't need settling. What is the, uh, the maximum sentence for murder? I did not murder anyone. Jesus Christ, James, whose side are you on? I am not taking sides. Yes, Carl. you are. You've already convicted me. As far as you're concerned, I'm on my way to death row. Now, Carl, come on. Well, let me tell you something, pal. You are in it as much as I am. You were there. That makes you an accomplice. Look, you little bastard. I never wanted you to do it in the first place. I was totally against it. Try explaining that to the judge. I am not going to have to explain anything to any judge. This is your ball game, Carl. You are an asshole. And you are a trigger-happy idiot. Well, I am not going to rot in prison alone. Well, you're not going to mess up my life, you son of a bitch. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, you and your stupid pellet gun! Oh, oh. Get off you, of me! Get you. You're a stupid man! You're a stupid little man! I said enough! I said to cut it off! Hey, yo! I said knock it off! Now, look. Unless one of you two guys took a piece of rope or a piece of wire and strangled this guy, I'd say you're both in the clear. How the hell do you know? tell by the marks on his neck. Look at that. Pretty sloppy job, too. Not a great idea to keep him out in the open like this. No! I don't like this, Carl. I don't like this one bit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the cops. What? Looks like they're coming to us. I hate cops. Well, well. Another fine day in the dumps, eh, fellas? Who are your friends? I've never seen you around here before. Uh, Lewis here uh, works yeah. for the company, and he'll be riding with us for the next couple of weeks to police our activities, so to speak. Is that right? Yes, sir, officer, sir. What about you? He's, uh... I didn't ask you, garbage man. I'm asking the punk who looks like he's had a few too many. What the hell's the matter with him? He looks friggin' dead. Well, the boy's had a rough night. He's, uh, you know, uh... A cousin of James. He, he flew in from, uh... Texas. We were out late showing him a good time. Well, wherever the hell he's from, he shouldn't be out on the street in his condition. I could haul you in, you know. But for now, I'm just gonna give you a warning. That's very kind of you, officer. Yeah, it is. Now get him inside the cab of that truck and make sure he stays there until he sobers up. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, sir! Let's go! 